My Look. name is Herod Bishop, and I will tell you my horrible story. This story happened to me in the late 70s, and even the most terrible nightmare will seem only echoes of horror in comparison with those mysterious events which I participated in. I worked as a real estate agent, and we had an old mansion in Maine which no one could sell. It was a dead weight in our company, and a stale product on a store shelf, which was losing its value every day. After all, houses also have a shelf life. And then, one May morning, the silence of our office on the 5th Avenue was broken by a telephone call. That call changed my whole life. It was a Mr. Johnson, a very strange client, who was willing to seize this old junk called house. And even the fact that a family of five people disappeared in this house did not frighten him. But on the contrary, it was the reason for such a strange purchase. After a brief conversation, my boss decided to send me to Stonebridge, to this provincial hall in Maine. My task was to inspect the house and make sure that it still didn't fall apart, and then to contact the client for a deal. My name is Henry Bishop. I will tell you my horrible story. All right then, so that was um, an introduction to seems like. I thought it was a bit strange that it started like so suddenly uh, with him already in the house. So it sounds like maybe the part we just went through is a future event. But then what would, like, you know, one, even if like this person bought the house and then something happened to this person as well, why would you go back to the house again if you already know people have disappeared? You know, just run. Just like saying, you can follow me. I'm not going back to the fucking house. I literally no idea where I'm going. I'm just looking around. Okay, so we're going to have a puzzle here. Okay, so I don't know whether it's just like something we need to come back to for the moment. It also runs a bit faster as well, to be fair. I think it's, um, somehow I've still got the items. A bit strange, but uh, I guess if he's sort of like somehow recanting his story, then why not? Door is locked. The key might be in the house. Ah. Huh. Okay, so I've got to go... Ma'am, you okay? Miss? Oh, you know what's going to happen here. Ma'am, what are you doing here? It is a private property. He locked me. Locked me up in this chest. Who locked you up? My master. It's all his fault. Master? I will find the key and set you free, and then I will take you to the sheriff. When he's saying chest, I... yeah, I think... Okay, so we're definitely dealing with ghosts here. Because when she said, che she said chest, she didn't say, like, shed or, you know, out place or, you know, whichever word that you want to use for it. So, she's dead, she was killed by the master, and she was locked up in there, and... But, uh, Dear Mr. Bishop, the wiring in old houses is not reliable, so I reassured and turned off the electricity. All you need to find is a switchboard and follow my instructions. Three starlings flew towards the light, the first below, the second above, and the third in the middle. Okay, so it's bottom, top, middle. <laughs> Alright, bottom, top, middle. 
never knew electricians could be into poetry, but um, yeah, fair enough. Bottom, top, middle, ah, and it's automatic. Ah, light. Probably not going to last for long. There we go. So yeah, in, you have to be sort of hovering on the sort of object you want to use your item on and then go into your inventory and then click it because if you're not over the trigger point it's just going to keep saying oh you know this is the item this is the house key this is the gramophone tone harm which is fair enough i would have sort of liked it to i don't know maybe bring up the inventory but then again if you don't have the item then i mean you still could have had the uh the trigger for the audio saying like this door's locked oh a bit of a, a bit of frame probably my glare kitchen lounge and a picture we can't pick up that is a creepy baby I mean, not for anything in particular. I wonder if, you know, the, um, cause the, the imagine, cause like the voice is the same. So I imagine if that's a older Henry Bishop, it, did he actually go back to the house or is he actually just dead? But then, does it really make sense that he's being chased around by ghosts still? Although that kid looked more like a demon than a ghost. Like the maid looked, you know, like Trishna, bigger. A body has been found in Fur Lake. Fisherman Billy's body. <laughs> I like that. It must be a small town. Everyone must know who Fisherman Billy is specifically. It's been found in the morning there for like according to the preliminary information billy was strangled then his body was thrown into the water the sheriff rejected to comment on this brutal murder stating that the perpetrator would certainly be found and get the punishment he deserved we all mourn for billy to some people he was just an acquaintance to the other he was a friend anyway he did not deserve such a terrible fate there have never been such tragic events in our small town before in this hard time we we what? We what? God damn it, don't cut it off like that. Ah, nicely lit room. I like the design, so someone was into their uh their tribal art. Hey no. I really hope that's not a um actual hu no that's that's, that's going to be a hu actual human skull. News today, 6 September 1911. Seven-year-old Alicia Nelson became the victim of a fire. The tragedy happened on 5th of September at 12:30 p.m. According to the preliminary data, a fire in the Nelson house broke out as a result of a children prank. Shouldn't be childs there, really. A game with fire took the life of seven-year-old Alicia Nelson. Her ten-year-old brother Robert got minor burns and was taken to St. Edmundo Hospital. Ah, a little key. I wonder if that's for the, um, the lock. But if it is, then I've definitely triggered something to happen. Uh-huh. So we've got to find a combination to save. And as far as can tell. Stop staring at me! Ooh, 
bit curious to um Could I really continue looking around? Why not? What's the worst that could happen? Ooh, knife. Oh, so I don't get that as a weapon. Brilliant. I like that you can interact with certain things, but when there's nothing in there, then it's kind of like, why aren't there more things that I can interact with? Maybe it was just a, um, a limitation of what they could program in the time. Old Bible, but apparently hasn't been read that much. Read your Bible and do what it says. Anyone that gets that quote will, you know, the chest good on you. Locked. Ooh, okay, maybe it's, uh, there we go. Guess I may as well have used it on there. Double check. Maid's Diary. Okay. It's a bit weird that I'm having to go to the, the arrow keys right the other side of the keyboard to uh, flip through this. Anyway, the first entry is 5th of April 1966. Uh, apparently she's read the newspaper article about Fisherman Billy. Uh, she's very scared um, about returning from the city. Uh, asked Mil Mr. Nelson to, uh, you know, give her errands that uh, wouldn't make her have to come back so late. So she knew Billy. Friends with her father. So she looks after the kids as well. So she's not fr just afraid for herself. She's afraid for the kids as well. So the kids we learned about that the one died in the fire. Uh, Ten days later, 15th of April, Mr. Nelson has been very concerned about something lately. He often locks himself in his office and stays there for several days. I wonder what he do what what does he do there? Mrs. Nelson is very anxious about it and she's constantly sad. I can surely say that I work in a strange family and maybe I would leave but I need money. And they pay a good salary. I've become very attached to the children. Josh is always playing pirates and trying to find some treasure. It even seemed to me that he had, himself had hidden some treasure in the courtyard of our house. Oh, okay. I'm going on a bit of a treasure hunt there. Uh, 22nd of May. Uh, apparently she hasn't written in a while because there's nothing that's really happened. Raining. Mr. Nelson's locked in his office again. Uh, 1st of June. Today Mr. Nelson ordered me to buy some things he wants to sell to Africa. It's so romantic. I've always dreamed to travel and see the whole world and there's so many exotic places in Africa. They even say that elephants walk in the streets there and I've never seen an elephant in my life only in pictures. I'm so happy for Mr. Nelson. He has even brightened up a little. Maybe when he returns he will stop locking himself up in the office. Okay, so he's Mr. Nelson's returned from Africa. I've been acting strange and watching the maid. Okay, he's become strange because he's acting more polite and uh, courteous towards her. Raised his salary. And that scares her. Something has changed. Maybe he's fallen in love with me. Yeah. Um... Okay, so she doesn't actually want that, but uh, she cares for the children, so she doesn't like the idea of having to resign if anything happens. Okay, here we go, okay. Today I woke up and saw Mr. Nelson in my room. He was just sitting there and staring at me. I got very scared. He didn't know how to explain his present, but simply said that he was worried about me. I can't take it anymore and I told him that I would resign but Mr. Nelson insisted that I stay for a short while until I find myself a new job. I agreed. Anyway, I have nowhere to go but from now on I will close my door at night and just in case I stole a kitchen knife and now it's lying under my pillow. I'm scared. 
Okay, so that's a bit weird. Either Mr. Nelson was planning to kill her, or... Yeah, okay, so this is the maid's room. Or he just become obsessed with her. 